people welcome back we are now up to is it episode 16 I'm losing track of my videos today I need to get a grip today I'm gonna go through breathing stats with you just because there's probably a lot of people out there that don't understand it and therefore don't want to get into it but you can make some seriously stupid stats from babies with it so if you ever get a chance I do recommend that it gets done um, so basically I'm going to start off this video by just talking you through the stats so when breeding all that's taken into account is bear stats not um, boosted stats so like for example Missy here I've pumped a lot of levels into speed and speed only which basically means that when she breeds the baby ain't going to inherit that stat, she'll inherit the stat that she got when tamed, which was about 136. Um, everything else is still base, um, so what I got after I tamed, which means that, that the baby will get that, 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 that and that. Um, I think it's like 70% chance that the baby will get the better stat from the two parents. So for example, if I bred Missy with Peter Pan here, uh, Peter Pan was a level 92 tame, boosted to 137, I've not touched his stats yet. So as you can see his weight's lower, his melee damage is lower, his speed up is same as Missy. Food is lower, oxygen is lower, stamina is about the same and health is lower. So therefore it would have to inherit 100% of its mother's stats in order to become the level of its mother from what she was when we tamed it. Um, that is very unusual um, but only because that Peter Pan was level 92 and Missy was a level 108 I think um, but basically the way it works is when they're out in the wild the level that they're at the points get distributed between seven stats evenly on a random basis um, so Missy here had 21 levels put into weight which is quite high whereas Peter here had the highest of 15 into one stat so therefore that makes Missy the superior. If for example a dinosaur pumped every level up to level 120 into health that would then become the perfect animal to breed with for HP because everything else would be a level 1 stat but its health would be a level 120 plus the boost to level 179 which means like on a rex you could have it well over 20,000 as a base stat. That is basically what you want on each one. The possibility of it happening is like less than 1% in my eyes but like I said with Missy she had a stat of 21 points into weight. It's more than possible for that to have been over 30 so if you ever find a dinosaur like that is well worth keeping hold of just for tame no matter what base level it was at. Um, I will post a link in the description below on a calculator that will tell you how many points a wild dino has pumped into its stats. So you, the way you use it is when you've knocked it unconscious put all them stats into it before you tame it. Put all them stats into the calculator and it'll say down the right hand side it's pumped to level 15 levels into health 21 into weight, such into stamina, such into oxygen, blah, 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 and so on. Any dino with points of 21 or above, I recommend taming and keeping hold of as a breeding dinosaur because you can create a baby dinosaur that's level 200 plus, which then means you can add the 60 levels on top of that, which means you can get a dinosaur that's level 260. And by carrying on breeding, eventually you might have a dinosaur that's got all stats with 40 points or above as a base stat which means it will then probably reach over 300 so that's the way it works it, it's just basically a, um, a trial and error process of finding dinosaurs with uh, boosted stats um, I keep a diary of all my dinosaur stats I will take a picture of it and post it on my Twitter for anyone that's interested but for example bouncy the his stats were pretty average. Let me see if I can find it. If you remember Pteri the Pteridon, 
he would have been a perfect dinosaur to have breed with Missy, but we unfortunately lost him. But he had 20 points in health, 19 in stamina, and 21 in oxygen. So them top three though were qu quite high. And then obviously Missy here has 21 points pumped into weight. So therefore, if the baby would have inherited them four stats alone, it would have been higher than its mother and its father in level, basically. Um, let's have a look at one another one here. So basically I've not found another dinosaur yet that's got anything higher than 16 points pumped into levels. Which shows how rare they can be. Um, I am now going to go out and look for another Turidon. We have got 20 Dodo Kibble, I only need 6 or 7 for the server we're on. I've got Tranquilizers and I've got my rifle and um, a few survival gear. So I'm going to pop out now and try and find a level 110 plus Turidon. Um, I've got a rough idea where one is from looking around yesterday and I will be back once we've got it down. I'm back and I found this beauty. Level 116 male. I've just got to be careful because there's a can all around here and I don't want him destroying my perfect team. Just like this scorpion's gonna try here. I got rid of that. Ooh, right. I'm gonna be back as soon as I tame this guy. Alright, I'm back. I just basically checked its stats while I had a bit of quiet time because there was nothing around me. I think I've killed everything off. That's a threat. There's a carnival over the river but he won't come over here unless something pulls him. Which they shouldn't do. So basically this guy is only yet one kibble up to yet. But he's pumped most of his levels into food. He's got 22 points into food. Which is a bit of a waste. But you know what? I'm going to tame it. I'm still going to breed it with Missy because it potentially means that it'll come out at a higher level than the pair of them because it, that one, he's, she's got 21 points in weight, he's got 22 points in food and you only need like 20 points across the board to even get anywhere near above a level 180. So it's 20 times 7 which is 140 but that doesn't work out right. Um, just I don't think what I'm talking about now but yeah it, it, they'll come out at a higher as long as they get the rest of the stats as the higher of the two um, which I'll figure out as soon as we've tamed it because they have to write them down um, but I'll be basically putting him in the book and then I'll put next to his food that he's got 22 points into it that's the way I'm working because then I can highlight the ones that have got the strongest in each stat and interbreed them all until I get the perfect a dinosaur so it's, I will be back as soon as we've tamed this bad boy. Alright, we're back at base. I've not looked at his boosted stats yet, so I'm quite excited for this. What the hell's Missy doing? Sit the heck down, you fool. So, let's go over here and check him out. He's boosted out a better level than Missy's at at the moment, so I don't know what level Missy was. But he's got higher weight than her. Less health. More stamina. Let's just check this out. So I think I'm going to breed these two and see what we can get out of them. Um, where is she? Right, Missy. So Missy's got 900 health, more health. 900 stamina. She's got, she's got less stamina. 480 oxygen. She's got less oxygen. 4273 food, 5376 food. So he's got more food. Oh no, her weight's 225, it is, it is 222. So she were a lower level and yet she has more weight. That shows the difference. She's got 426 melee. And he's got 432, so he's got higher melee. And she's got. I've not wrote a top her down. Top on change anyway. But that is rather interesting 
So I'm going to breed these two and I'll be back as soon as I've done it just so we can check out the level difference between the three of them and kind of like get grips on what breeding how breeding works really I will be back in two minutes all right we're back I hatched the egg and um, that we got from the two parents um, by the looks of it it's popped out at level 164 so it got the health from its mother the stamina from its father the oxygen from its mother the food from its mother the weight from its mother the male air from its f mother the movement obviously from either and the torpor from its mother so it's not the best that it could have come out at like explaining the reason that it's got the level that it's been given it's only level 164 which um but it shows how, it can, how you get the mix of stats from either parent and how it affects the level because the father was level 173 and I found out that the mother from a little diary was level 161 so obviously it's higher than its mother because it's gained a few of its father's stats but because it's gained most of its mother's in the lower ones that's why it's not higher than the pearl one um, I'm going to probably carry on breeding both of them every time the cooldown comes off because I reckon we can get a higher level out of that a little dino there, the experiment called him that for obvious reasons so let's go and have a look at the cooldown timer and how long it takes on them oops yeah, oh we got a actually have to have egg so eight and a half hours so they'll be ready to breed again tomorrow basically who's this? muncher oh yes we've got the health from no yes yeah, definitely got the health from its mother um, I actually thought that the mother had lower melee where the hell's it got its melee damage from? 32.9 that is strange let's just go and have a look at it again it's got a higher damage than both its parents and top off That's confusing. Well, that is definitely interesting. But now you see, I reckon that I can breed. Oh, what is it? Is it a male? Female? It's a female. So, I could breed it with its father again. That's perfect. Right, so that's what I'm going to do soon as this guy's fully grown um, I will breed them I'll breed this one with its father again because you can breed um, the father as often as you like and hopefully we'll get a decent level pterodon out of it this is the way breeding works between it's a bit incest but <laughs> what are you, you going to do this is going to eventually be um, for the quetzes and the rexes that we get. So I'm going to build a giant ramp up to it and put them all up here for our breeding purposes. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's been a bit of an experiment really. Um, I think it's, it should give you a good insight on, into how breeding works and obviously the possibilities that you can get over a level thousand dino, which not many people will believe, but I think it makes it possible to breed a level 1080 if you can get perfect stats in each attribute but that is going to be very unlikely to happen anytime soon on any sort of official or normal private server 
anyway hope you've enjoyed watching don't forget to like comment sub and share guys and i will see you next time jesse out